Hello everybody, uh, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and I'm making this video uh, because there was something not really uh, clearly explained in one of my previous videos that was about how to uh, change uh, the stick mode in your DJI uh, Mavic 2 Pro uh, uh, drone. So the stick mode meaning, uh, for example, what functionality of the remote control stick which which functionality will do which type of movement in the drone and how to change these movements uh, uh, in, in order to customize it the way you want it to be so that's what i'm going to teach you now and clarify this uh, basically unclear previous video which wasn't very clear so this is basically modification of a previous video is what it is okay so here is how we change the stick mode. Uh, I have a drone here. Now, this you never want to put the blades when you have your drone indoors and it's on. It's dangerous. But uh, since I have a lot of experience with this, I, I, I know I'm not going to be, you know, heading fly and whatnot. So I'm, I have the blades in there. Basically, I'm lazy, okay? You made me admit. I'm lazy. I didn't remo remove the blades, but this is not recommended. Okay. Anyways, so here's how we do it. So you see these three dots here in the upper right corner. You click on those three dots. Now, for a reason, I'm zoomed out like this because you have to see the drone and the uh, and this together. So, I mean, I could have zoomed in to, on this one just so you could see this. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me zoom in on this so you could see better. Okay, so I have it zoomed in. You see those three dots? You click on those three dots. And then right here, you click on remote control. Actually, this is not what you're going to see. When you click on remote control, this is your main screen. And then from here, you have to go to stick mode. In stick mode, mode 2 is the default. What does the default mean? The default means if you push this forward like this, if you do this, the drone movement will be like this. Going up like this. Okay? Let me come a little this way so you could see. All right. Again, moving this forward, forward or up, Mo moving this up because this is, I'm holding it flat. This is forward, but when you hold it like this, this is up. So moving this up, the drone goes up. Okay. Moving this down, the drone goes down. So basically if the drone is like this and you move it down, the drone will go down like this okay moving this to the left okay the drone will twist to the left such as this like this twist to the left okay moving this to the right the drone will twist to the right like this okay now this is mode 2 the right button which is this button right here will do the following. Moving it up, the drone will move forward like this. Okay. Moving this down, the drone will go backwards like this. Okay. Moving this to the right, the drone goes to the right like this. Sideways. Moving this to the left, the drone will go to the left sideways. Okay. Now that's mode one. Mode two, I'm sorry. That's the default mode, which is mode two. Okay, now let's see what is the, 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 the other modes. Mode one, okay, look what it says. The default stick mode is two. Changing the stick mode alters the way the aircraft will behave, you know? You click okay. Okay, now this is mode two. See now everything has changed. In mode, I'm sorry, this is mode one. I keep seeing mode two. The mode one, now this is actually moving the drone forward. This will move the drone backwards. Remember, this used to be up. Moving this this way, the drone used to go up. Not anymore. Not anymore. At, at, in mode one, this will make the drone go forward like this. This movement will make the drone go backwards like this. Tilting it to the to the left will make the drone twist to the left. Tilting it to the right 
will make the drone twist to the right. Moving this one uh, uh, up will make the drone go up like this. Moving this down will make the drone go down like this. And then moving it to the right will make it go sideways. Moving it to the left, make it go sideways this way. Sideways to the right. This, watch, watch my finger. Sideways to the right, sideways to the left. Okay? That is mode one. Now mode three, what's mode three? Okay, let's go to mode three here. Mode three. Okay, click okay. Everything is changed again. Now what, 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 in mode three, you have this, this button, this right here, will have the following motion. This button, which is this, this will be forward movement, this will be backwards movement, this will be right movement and this will be left movement forward backward right left the height of the drone will not differ in mode 3 with this button the height of the drone will not differ and the angle at which it's pointing its camera will not differ okay the camera will always be pointing north this way it's simply going this way this way this way and this way in mode 3 but the right button, which is this one, will change it the following fashion. This will go up, forward, go up, go down. This way, twist to the right. This way, twist to the left. That is mode three. Remote control mode three. Now let's talk about custom mode. Okay. Custom mode, you customize it yourself. You basically customize which button you want to do what. You click on custom and you tell it what, what do you want this button to do. Currently this button right here is forward. Would you like to change it to something else? Click on it and put it somewhere else. So now the forward is here. Basically you drag and drop. Click this, put it back up there and now you change it like that. So basically you drag and drop wh what functionality you want it to be and how the functionalities you want to change. Let me darken this because this thing is too bright. You can't see this thing. My God, this, there. My camera stand is moving like it's in some kind of a tornado. Okay, so same thing with this. You simply drag and drop it or drag and drop it here. So basically you switch them back and forth. Now, I don't want to do this. This is, I just, I was teaching you how it works. I'm going to go back to the factory original, excuse me, which is mode two and click OK. The mode two is what I'm used to and that's what I'm going to leave it at. Now let me tell you something. Why do I like to stick with mode two? The reason why I want to stick with mode two it's because that is the standard when you take it out of the box. And if you customize your remote control to something other than the standard, what happens is that when you use someone else's aircraft or remote control, or you go to uh, get another one or a different type, uh, you are trained outside the standard boundaries. So it's like changing the car. For example, in your car, when you, uh, with your traffic light, you know, like right signal, left signal, in every car, it's, you push the little lever up, it's right signal. You push it down, it's the left signal. You turn the wheel to the right, the wheels will move to the right. You turn it to the left, the wheels will move to the left. Now, if let's say if the cars were and designed in such a way that you could have customized it the way you wanted to. For example, you wanted the signals to be when you put the lever, signal lever down to, to turn on the right signal and when you put it up to turn in the left signal, you could have done it so sure, but then you're not used to the standard. What if one day you have to change your vehicle and that vehicle is not wired the way you are you're, you're, you're used to? 
this is the reason why I'm not saying if DJI made the way they decided to put the configuration of the buttons is the best or it's not the best. Maybe it is the best. They do a lot of research before they do these things. But whatever mode the factory sets as default is something that you need to master yourself how to pilot your drone. This way you have a standard training, not a customized training, proprietary training on a particular modified types of drones and not what everybody else has. This is the reason I recommend not changing the stick mode, anything other than what's released from the factory. Instead, I think it's better to train yourself to use the way the default is. Now, there are some special, special circumstances that you have to change it. If you're a videographer, cinemat cinematographer, <coughs> I can't even pronounce that word, cinematographer, whatever that is, <laughs> you know, and you need to customize it. There you go. You can customize it. But I recommend that you stick with the standard and you will not have a problem regardless what kind of drone and what kind of remote control you're using. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to write in, like and subscribe.